Okay, just uh, flip that switch there and the test will be initiated. Okay, seems fair enough. Ah, oh, son of a- What you just saw there was a basic breakdown of how the Chernobyl nuclear disaster happened. To explain it slightly better, on April 26, 1986, one of the worst nuclear accidents in history happened. Late at night, a test was to be initiated, one that would test backup cooling systems. However, due to the nuclear reactor being poorly constructed, not all of the cooling rods were put into the reactor, which caused the fission within the reactor to go out of control. The heat rapidly increased and all the cooling water in reactor number 4 violently turned to steam, heating up the reactor more and more, causing it to melt and eventually explode. During this explosion, tons of nuclear debris was released. No, literally 8 tons. So, now that we know how it happened, what exactly was the outcome? Well, for starters, let's talk about that radiation. See, the way nuclear fission works is you basically launch a neutron at uranium, which splits it, generating nuclear waste, and heat. When it splits, helium nuclei and electrons are released from decaying waste. Now the thing is, beta radiation is electrons going bonkers, and alpha radiation is helium going bonkers. Photons come from charged particles going insane, just like helium's protons and the electrons. So when the photons were created, we got our gamma radiation. Long story short, everything is going insane and creating lots of radiation. So what happens when all of that is released? Chernobyl. That's what happens. Of course, this disaster was back in 1986 and 33 years have passed. Not saying there is no radiation, however. Some places in the plant can kill you within 10 minutes of exposure to the radiation. There is an area surrounding the Chernobyl plant, called the Exclusion Zone, which includes the nearby town of Pripyat. The whole town had to be evacuated overnight. Now let's answer some questions that I must answer in order to pass the project that this video is for. Question 1. Where is the radiation coming from? Well, the answer is simple, Chernobyl, specifically the core that was exposed to the open world. Question 2. Is exposure preventable? Yes, there is a perimeter that encloses the surrounding area of Chernobyl called the Exclusion Zone. Basically, don't go in. Question 3. Is there a government recommendation on safe levels of exposure? Yes, there is. The answer is that there are no safe levels. You might be able to go into the town of Pripyat for a short amount of time, but it is not known exactly how long until you can no longer recover from the radiation. Question 4. How many people were affected? Interestingly enough, it's near impossible to calculate just how many people were affected. However, there are multiple confirmed deaths. For starters, within the three months following the explosion, 134 died from radiation-related deaths. In the following 17 years, 19 died from radiation-related deaths. Question 5. What were my sources? Green Facts Scientific Facts on the Chernobyl Disaster and the United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation. To put it simply, don't go to Chernobyl.